This is the original wound being flushed with warm saline solution over a period of five days prior to a veterinary visit to surgically remove the large skin flap below the wound and stitch the base to the wound. It's a very unpleasant wound where the horse galloped in the field and didn't see a low branch on an oak tree and impaled itself and ripped the skin right back and a big puncture. And now this is about four days later, the vet, no week later, the vets come and cut off the big flap of skin that was hanging down, all the dead skin, and just stitched up the base. And he now has agreed he, that we should use Camrose ointment at this point now. The infection's all gone and the deep hole up by the withers has drained itself and, and um, it's time, he said, it's able to use the ointment. So um, we've, it's been stitched and done this morning and now it's, she's been out in the field for two hours for it all to dry, all the little drainage bit. And so it's ready to apply the ointment. We're now applying the ointment in a large encircling band on normal undamaged skin into the fur to form a sort of sealing band. So if it rains, the water won't seep behind the ointment band and get onto the wound underneath the ointment. So little circular movements working towards the centre of the wound so you're not dragging the, the skin away from the wound very gently. So there, that's an insect. And we're going to go right the way around it, getting it to the skin. It's no good having it just smeared on top of the coat. Why, it's turned stuff. Why? And obviously above the wound is more important than below because of the rain coming down. Because she's out all the time. Moving about is much better for the healing process. For her mind and her immune system. Happier animal has a much stronger immune system means they've got a better healing process. The time little encircling bands with the tips of my fingers firmly into the skin. And round the edge I'm being very, very gentle to get it to the skin without disturbing the wound. And there's no swelling on that line where the penetration went in. It's amazing, it seems to have healed. And last night, that hole was open and I was irrigating it with iodine. And this morning, it had closed over and was healing with a blood clot, which is brilliant. And as the vet said, that's progress, no infection. And there's no swelling all over where it penetrated here at all, where the line is. Now, look, there's a fly. Oh, it's nearly, they get stuck on the ointment. They can't bite through it. So this is the whole reason of doing this. The ointment promotes the healing process by keeping this outer skin stretchy and supple so it's more easily able to close over a little bit. And um, the flies can't bite through it, which is very important. We don't want maggots on this. been a great worry while we were irrigating it all the time. When it was wet, we couldn't apply ointment with the flies because they were all working around the hole. It was awful. But we're lucky it wasn't midsummer. Must be itchy. Look at her. So there are two processes going on. That was telling us, thank goodness. because this will then make it much more supple and it won't be itchy. Awful, awful, awful. This is where it's stitched, so it's quite... Right, let's get around the bottom here. Then we'll lot dry the damp where there's a little bit of weeping on the wound and the cracks and where there's a little reservoir of blood coming from the stitching area and the surgical removal of the dead flap of skin, which was quite substantial. A bit further down here because that will make the blood or anything seeping go over the top of it rather than sticking onto the skin and the fur. Right, now we're going to just lay over, we'll be going over fur, lay over the stitched 
bulgy bit here, a bit of the flap that still had a blood supply. And he has decided to leave that and stitch it back and hope that it joins up with the healing skin underneath. So we've just coated that and then you need to put plenty of ointment onto there and then we'll start lot drying. Round the edges it will be wrong to work in a circle because you'll be dragging the flap away a bit, the edges away. So I'm just patting the ointment in. And there where it's all lumpy edged you can only pat it in. very gently. Now I want a piece of tissue. What I'm doing now is just blotting any liquid in the cracks. Actually not much, there's a tiny bit there. Because the ointment won't adhere to wet skin and wherever it looks a little bit wet in the cracks. So we're going to just lay it over very gently, squidge it under any hard bits. There's a soft bit that's likely to come off and that may well come off, it's lifting, but we just cover it. So flies can't get in there and we can't, it's be really bad news to get any maggots. And because it's still so warm, there are still flies about, unfortunately. There are lumps of flesh and scabbing that are in time going to lift. At the moment they're attached, but lifting a bit, which is annoying, to get the ointment into the cracks. It's now protected if it rains, which it's likely to do. And rain today is highly polluted, so it's not a good thing to have a mixture or cocktail of chemicals, probably washing over what already is there and creating another trauma to the skin that's trying to heal. That's the, the benefit of this ointment, that it can protect the surface and maintains the body's natural moisture that it's putting out for healing. Um, and avoids any external traumas upsetting the balance. Wherever the areas where it's very lumpy, little scabs, go back and make sure you've filled all the holes and it's all holding its, holding its own. But the first 24, 48 hours, probably three days with this, because it's a severe injury, lots and lots of different levels of injury, um, there should come a very fine healing skin. And it's joining up where it might be weeping and easing the ointment off to the outside layer, which is held on by the hair, the normal skin. There's a bit that the ointment's gone in, side scabbing. Needs a bit more in the hole. Same thing here. Now, we're going to do that big hole top of the stitching. I don't think we can get it dry. I'm just going to cover it so the flies can't get to it. And ointment on the edge where it's got the holding agent of the hair will keep it in place if you lay it across it join up with the hair bit where it's stuck firmly onto dry hair and we need to watch the first sort of 24-48 hours constantly during that time if any of it's seeped off you just need to patch apply a little bit more of ointment so it's all protected over the wound area because it's all scabby and lumpy. But where you're putting it on the fur to the skin, you just want to work it well into the skin. If you don't have it proud, there's no need to have it anymore, any prouder. I think, just looking at little holes, it might have sucked in a bit. I think we're just about there. Put another lump over that hole area. See if it gets washed off, it's a bit more. Right. I think that's it.